Hi guys, Holly from Vitmill. Today we're reviewing the Amulet Tra. It's a UL watch and it vapes. So let's get on with it. Boom! Straight to the unboxing. So I've just received my watch and it's time to see what it does. Reach for your knife and slice. You will proof of authenticity. Slide it through. Boredom. I quite like the box and it's very mysterious and ticky. So here we've got attention. Press the mouthpiece towards the back. Usage warnings. That is a user manual. Here we have a strap. It's got quite a nice feel to it. And then we've got this little pod system. There's your pod. Two connections, what looks like the fill hole, coil in center, it looks like this system uses removable pods, and there's a watch with a battery. So sweet, charger, micro, I can't be so I can be micro. And then that's it. Let's see what we got here. It's 47 by 37 by 17 millimeters. It's got a strap length of 27 centimeters. 270 millimeters. It weighs in at 27 grams. 370 milliamp hour battery. 2 mil e-liquid capacitor. 1.6 ohm coil, mixed voltage at 10 watt. And it comes in a massive variant of colours, including black, black, and black. It's got all your usual protection, 8 second cut off, open circuit protection, over temperature protection, short circuit protection, and low battery protection, 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 protection. The strap looks a lot like this. Working on our push fit system, so you just line it up and push it in. It's nice and sturdy, and there's even got your little hole to scoop it back through. The straps are very easy to take off, you just slide the button and pull it out. And obviously, just push it back in, slide the button back. <coughs> that works on both sides. Let's look at the device itself. If you hold the button for, uh, I think it's about five seconds, the screen flips around. And if you want to change the time, all you have to do is go back to the button, press it one, two, three. Try again. One, two, three times. And then here, on either side, you've got touch sensitive pads, so you can change the time. That's the minutes. On to the hours. Press it again to go into the months, days, year, long press to exit, done. And then obviously press the button five times, turn it off, goodbye, or five times, turn it back on. Hello from you well. Now your pod is here. And someone told me you have to like push it back, but I just lift it up. De definitely supposed to be slid up, slide up. See what I get. Slide up. So there's your pod, you've got your filling hole here. That's just for like that. Other than that, it's just not a pod. Uh, the coil's in the centre, 
which is not interchangeable, if I should knows. And that's it, it's quite simple. Do you want to see how it works? Spectrum features! I suppose the main question is, is it novel set or is it an actually good innovative pod system? Um, oh yeah, to release there's a button there as well, I forgot to mention that. Press that, pull it out. The charge of a bottom. Um, is it novelty? It can produce okay flavour and it can produce okay vapour. The battery in it lasted. Uh, well, it's been, I, I hadn't overused it because I wanted to see how long it lasted as a watch. Um, and the watch lasted all week. Uh, I mean, in fact, let's have a look at the battery life. The battery life's still over 50%, or about 50%, uh, which is cracking. And now let's forget the watch and forget everything else. Let's just look at the device as a pod. Do you know how you get them pod systems where, or any sort of, uh, Mouth to lung system where you take a puff and you get lots of flavour, you take another puff and you don't so much. That's what I found with this. But a lot of pods these days go up to 15 watts and this only goes up to 10. So let's look at it on a pod that only goes up to 10 watts. As you can see, there's a fair amount of vapor there. It's quite a cigarette type device. And I do like it, the flavour is there, you can definitely taste, I've got got soul uh, blood orange in there, and you can definitely taste it. The, I would as well, by the way, if you press the button, it doesn't vape. Uh, I just thought I'd point my out there because it's what I noticed. There is one more thing I need to factor in on this, uh, opinions, is, is the shape of the drip tip. Now I don't think you can see that, it's, it's less than... It's half the depth of my finger, if not more, and yeah. it took me about a day to get used to a drip tip mouthpiece. But after you get used to it, it's quite actually all right. So don't just fob it off on that. Uh, my overall opinion is quite simple. This little bad boy is about fifteen twenty quid, um, and the smock Nord is 20, 25 quid. So basically I'm kind of being, you get a watch for 15 quid and it's got a vape inside. It's damn good. It's never going to be a full time vape because if not it may not be in your pocket because the rigmarole. But it is a good little thing if you're going that art and you want your watch on, there you go, you lose your vape, your vape dies, you run out of liquid, you get a little backup. And it is handy for that, and I think for people, uh, for example, if you go to a business meeting, you want to keep vape buoy, but you don't want to be seen to have a, a vape, bang your watch on, bang. I do think there's a place in market for this, especially for the price. If it were 50 quid, I'd say it's absolutely awful, but it's not, it's 15, 20 quid, and I think that's pretty darn good. <laughs> that's it. Uh, I don't. I, I, uh, uh. I ain't got much more to say to you, really. Um, I think I've covered pretty much every base, and if I ain't, I'm really sorry. I know lately I've been missing a bit of information, and I'm really, really sorry about that. Yes. Uh, so let's get on to bit that you all come for giveaways. Uh, eat my noob food. You've won, and I'm very sorry, I've just realised I haven't really spent any time comments on videos this week, uh, commenting on comments, uh, so I will make sure I get back in the action and join the interface again, and uh, ramp up my Instagram, uh, the thing is I'm doing that much at the minute, and oh, I'm just suffocating a bit, but I, uh, I will come back, you will have my full undivided attention.
But hey, my new food, congratulations, you have won the Charon Battle Star, baby. And yes, I probably would buy one uh, if I were a Mouth to Lung Vapor. But yes, I would. So, noob, eat my noob food, you have to uh, drop me a message on Instagram or Facebook and we'll discuss postage prices and uh, I'll get it sent out ASAP. Uh, for the rest of Vow, as long as Vow are subscribed, if Vow comments in the description below, Vow shall be entered into winning the uh, You Will Amulet. Uh, so you know what to do. Subscribe, comment in the description, and you will be entered and we'll announce it next week. Don't forget to read the terms and conditions, which are in the description. And please do share it. If you don't want to win, I still want you to subscribe. Please, oh please, subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell, all that malarkey. Okay. And if you do want to comment but not be entered, feel free to comment down below. If you do win, then that's tough. If you make sure you definitely don't want to win, just comment and then put underneath, don't want to win. It's crap and I don't want to win. I like big clouds. <clears throat> right, you know the part of this video and... I like saying it to be honest, it's quite fun and, and I like how people wait for it as well. I noticed on a live video there were people like Joe's that were like, God, say it, say it, say it. So uh, the most important thing you can do guys is always remember to stay cloudy. Boom.